Okay, so this is part four. Uh, let's uh, give this garage the same material here. So garage door, the same material. So this is uh, dark, dark walls. Uh, they, look, they look too light right now uh, because uh, when we baked indirect lighting, uh, we baked indirect lighting and uh, a blender is still using that baked indirect lighting. So we need to recalculate uh, the indirect lighting again uh, so that uh, it is baked again on these walls so that they don't look as bright as, as they look. So this needs to be white walls. So we need to apply the mirror modifier here. Select this side, uh, this side here, and give it white. We need to add a material, then give it white walls, a sign, and uh, basically we have that. So, so let's bake the lighting again and see how it would look. Actually, it made it even brighter, uh, but uh, we can use a texture here because it's reflecting light to these walls, uh, which is making it uh, quite uh, white as that, bright as, uh, as that. So let's find some ground texture here. Asphalt, 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 asphalt. Let me see, let me see, asphalt. Yeah, I think this should work. So we can create a new material, call this rod. Then I'll drag this to the color. Let's see, and uh, it's too too small, so it's too large. The text is too large, so we can scale it down. Twenty, twenty, and. Uh, 20. Uh, let's first free uh, the cache uh, for the light so that we disable all the lights uh, because it's making our scene too bright. Uh, so can we see any details here? Or oh, as we are working now, we can just go back to this material setting so that we can see things more clearly and maybe change uh, the, the lights, the background image to something different that is not too bright i think 20 is too much so let's try 10. Uh, you can drag on these numbers and then change them at once let me first make sure this is the same values so 10 10 so if you drag from the top to down you can scale them down at the same value at the same time. So I think around there is good enough. I think it's it needs to be more sloping than uh, than it is right now. So around there. And uh, we need uh, the displacement. Uh, we can also just come to this and uh, pick this setup here so we need this node this and these two here hmm, it's not copying that so let's just copy paste this here and uh, basically what we need uh, is the ambient occlusion to be also added to this asphalt Use this as the base color, and uh, this should be connected to the color input here. And we need uh, the displacement, so bring this there. But uh, let's control it with the math math node, and uh, change this to multiply. Uh, this should be the down value, and uh, this can be 0.1. Uh, we see the texture is too much because it's not connected. It's too big because it's not connected to this mapping, so we need to 
connect that to so that it's using the same mapping as this or the same scale values as this. Now we are we just need to add the roughness. Connect it to the roughness node and I use the same mapping as well. And let's see. What else are we normal? Connect this to the normal and uh, make sure you're using the same mapping as well. So let's see how it looks in our, uh, this is still too bright. Uh, maybe because of our sun, the sun is too bright. Let me turn back, switch back on the extras and reduce uh, our light to about five. Yeah, I think it was too bright. I think I can add a loop around there and another one around there and uh, maybe another one around there and, uh, there and uh, there and basically we can extrude this here so this will, will be our grass section so we can extrude this like this but then Select this material, this side here. Push it down. And now we can round off uh, these corners so that they don't look too sharp, like they are looking right now. Now let's first apply scale and rotation. Then round off that side. Uh, we need to unwrap this again. So we have this. So then we can select these faces here. Go to materials, add a new material. Uh, we can call this grass. Assign. Uh, we need to increase this. We can select this loop, increase assign so that is going to be our grass we can even extend it up maybe add a few loops here and uh, drag this up just a bit this area doesn't have to be even so we can mess with it a bit make sure to unwrap again now we need to get our grass material uh, we can select this setup, copy this entire setup. Uh, I can delete these nodes, paste, and uh, can find uh, the texture that I want. So this is the texture I want. Either this or this. And uh, let's see, can uh, just switch out uh, the color. You know, actually, Let's create an, an, a new setup because this only has one map and uh, we don't have the specular or uh, roughness or roughness map or, or displacement map. So we just, we can bring this in, use that, use that as the color map. You can see that's what we have, but uh, it's too large right now. So we can increase the scale to about 20. Let's try 20, 20 I think is too much, so 10. Now, let's select so I think that's good enough and uh, what I like doing is uh, mixing uh, this with a different uh, text as well so we can bring in this here column because they are 
two different uh, grasses. You can see this is like that and this is like that. Maybe it's too light, so let's try three by three by three. And uh, we can use the same mapping for this. And uh, mix this with a uh, texture like this. And uh, the way you mix the two, uh, you use a color, mix RGB, you use one in one node and another one in another node. And, uh, so basically this will just mix the opacity. So at full one, at one factor, uh, the down uh, texture will come through. At zero, uh, the top texture will come through. But uh, you can also use a texture like this. And uh, basically, if we add a car ramp, convert car ramp, uh, so that we have dark and white areas, black and white areas like that, uh, we can make it so that uh, the black areas show one map and another, and the white areas show one map by uh, feeding this in the factor. So this is how it looks. So if we use this in the factor, you can see how this affects uh, the texture. So that gives it a, some variation. Uh, we can also find uh, some ground texture like this and mix that in. So this is our ground. And now we can find another maybe noise texture. Like, I don't know. You can use any, anything basically. Uh, you can even use uh, an image like this. So this, we want to mix what we are getting from this input uh, with this here, so that we have some uh, ground, some soil com coming through. So we can again use a mix, a mix node here, color, mix node. So again, at full factor, uh, this text, this texture here should come through the ground texture. Uh, but I think it's too big. We need to scale it down again using this node. I think it's still fairly big, so we can just give it its own uh, mapping nodes. So we can try, let's preview how it looks. Uh, 20 by 20, that's too small. Five by five by five, maybe 10 by 10 by 10. I think that's good enough. Uh, so then we can use this as the factor, let me see. So, where is this? Yes, so this needs to be the factor here. And uh, if we preview, let me see, let me make sure I'm doing this correctly. Uh, actually, it should be the factor for this here, uh, and uh, this here is the factor there. So, right now we are only seeing, did we scale this right? I think I messed up the scale here. Is it point? Yeah. So right now we are only seeing uh, the ground. So to make uh, the grass come through, we can use this image as the factor. 
So that areas, and you can see some of the buildings are showing the grounds. And uh, if you want to increase how much ground is coming through, you just increase the contrast. So you, got, you add a car ramp. And then play around with the contrast. You can see. See how it looks. But uh, the, the city building is looks a bit silly, so we can try out a different texture here. So maybe let's uh, let's see. Let's try this here. All this ground here, so we can find that. So to use this, or we can just use this here. So because it's more random than uh, the city building, so need to increase the contrast a bit so that uh, the ground comes through. So let's uh, make sure this is fed through, is being previewed through the principal shader. So this is all for the base color, like that. <coughs> but uh, we can still use it uh, for, we can still use the same node for the roughness. So just connect this to the roughness. Which makes uh, some parts uh, shinier than the others. But uh, I think this image, uh, this image here is coming, this node here, Ha doesn't have a, a lot of contrast, so we can add a car ramp between here. And uh, we can also just preview this node here to see what kind of contrast we're getting. So we can increase the contrast by bringing these two together. So the white areas will be rough and the will have rough reflections and the black areas will have sharp reflections. So if we go here, if we preview this, you can see, I don't know if you can see it directly there. And let's increase uh, the contrast. And why is it not working? Or am I viewing it at the wrong angle? So let's, let's first change this. Let's see the contrast we have here. Let's preview this. Yeah, you can see what I'm saying, what I'm talking about. Uh, but uh, those are too sharp, so we can make this a bit whiter to reduce on the sharpness. And uh, we can also reduce on the roughness. And we can also use, uh, I think, this texture here, which was the ground texture, and feed it into are uh, the displacement. Okay. Yes, I think we can stop here. Uh, since Blender is crashing, uh, we'll continue in the next part.